Hello everyone and uh, welcome. This is a uh, quick tutorial on some particles. I've been getting asked a lot of questions on how to make things from uh, you know ribbon emitters to um, you know just basic particle questions. So I threw together this little volcano um, and it kinda has just the basics of uh, pretty much everything you're gonna encounter with particle effects. Um, of course this is just one example um, but, uh, but you know, you can kind of springboard from what you're going to learn here into just about any kind of particle effect you would ever want to make. Um, and this will get you started with the general particle system of uh, Stingray. Okay, so um, what we have here is uh, basically just three particles. Um, and those three particles are creating uh, this whole kind of look and feel. And uh, we're going to start with something very simple. Um, like these little little sparks that are going off, okay, and I have those in the center of my my um, volcano, and they're great for little things like you know little sparks or little 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 things, right? Like little details that you want to not waste a lot of resources um, making look cool, but uh, gives you that added little bit of life that's that's kind of nice, okay? So um, so that'll be this guy. Um, and you know that's just a very simple particle effect and we're going to create that um, then we're going to go ahead and create this a uh, little more complicated um, smoke uh, effect okay and then actually I don't have one of the parts listed here uh, I don't have the fire so I'm going to put the fire in and this is kind of an order of complexity um, so uh, let's put this guy in there and he's on his side so I just put him on his side and there we have like a, a basically a raging fire, right? Um, and this is a, a UV animation, so that'll be the the third thing we'll be working on is making a kind of a fire, um, which would be useful in a fireplace or uh, any number of things. Okay. Um, and here I have it kind of stretched out because I wanted that that kind of uh, you know fiery look coming from the the, the volcano itself. Okay. So, um, but this is just a UV animation, and uh, lastly, we're going to be doing the most complicated of the group, which is a ribbon animation complete with uh, particle physics. So this is actually uh, interacting with the world, and if we were to put this like you know next to a box or something, it would actually bounce off the box. Um, and as you can see here, it's actually interacting with the um, the the volcano itself. But to just illustrate that, I'm just going to drop a box here. Uh, models, props, and champ box. So I'm just going to put the champ box next to it, and we should see it interact with that um, that box now. If anything actually spawns to hit it, come on, bounce off of it. There we go. So now you can see that it's actually bouncing off that box. All right. So this actually interacts with the physical world. Okay. So um, and what's also cool about this particle effect is we have a trail. This is actually a pretty complex particle effect, um, but we're going to save that for last, and we will, um, you know, just just work up, work up. Um, by the end of this, you'll pretty much know how to make any particle effect type thing you would want to make. And if you mix and merge these concepts, you'll be able to make anything. All right. So uh, so let's get started. All right. So I'm just going to delete these guys, and we're going to get started with our first particle. Okay. So that's going to be this simple guy. 